Hey guys, it's the Mountain Man here, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. In the last video, we explored around Treasure Trove Cove, uh, followed a little treasure hunt with a bunch of X's, and finally one big X that marked the spot. In this video, we're most likely going to be finishing up the world. But, uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, head back up here, because this is the closest flight disc that I know of. And let's jump up here, because, uh, the next locations that we're going to be going to actually require us to reach them from the air. If we go over here, this guy says, This be Gruntilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. <laughs> uh, that's funny. See, there's a jiggy in here, and, oh, well, that didn't work. Go inside, pick it up, and there we go. Jiggy number eight. Alrighty. That golden treasure was for me. Now harder still the game will be. Alright, someone's a little salty. Alright, so now we actually we gotta jump back down to uh to go uh back to the flight disc. Yeah, okay, I was about to say, I could have sworn there was a mumbo token on one of those boxes, but no way, Jose. There's much easier mumbo tokens to collect, like this one, for instance. You can actually climb on this pole down here like you can the one on the top. Alrighty, so now we've done that, we're going to go into the uh, little alcove opposite of that one. See, there's a single note right here notifying us that we can go in here. And going up here, as you can see, we're now on top of this little, I guess, mountain thing that uh, overlooks the entire world. And uh, over here is the yellow jiggy, so let's go ahead and carefully hop over here so we don't fall off. There we go. And I've also been awarded a, a gamer pick. Cool. Remember those? <laughs> Alright. So now let's head up this little path here. And as you can see, there's a little shock jump disc that we can use. Skip a little bit of the of the climb. Of course, that probably isn't wise considering that there's notes down here, so. Let's pick those up. Across here and here and here. And if you saw there is a there is a grunty switch, so let's press that. And we'll be fired out of the cannon. Moving over here, we got this lighthouse. The door is closed, but you can just uh, rat a tat wrap into it. And it'll open up. And there we go, that's all the notes for the world. And once we jump up here, or, okay, once we jump up here, and pick this up, that is Jiggy number 10. Nice, signified by our, by our, uh, our little. A little uh, jig right there. A jig for a jiggy. Alright. Didn't get to see that in the last world because I picked up the last jiggy as a transformation. And we just got the little jingle instead of the dance. Alright, so we got all 100 notes, all 10 jiggies. All that's left to do is uh, get that last honeycomb piece out there and then get the heck out of the dodge. Wow, that didn't hurt me. That was weird. Oh, that's what he... Yeah, that's what he does. He smacks into you, the eggs come out. Okay, so I was kind of right before when I said that. He'll bump into you and it'll knock all your items out. Well, maybe not all. Yeah, that was kind of close. Be sure to... If you're if you're trying to jump from a high place, be sure it's not too high to where it'll you'll run out of flip flap time. Because eventually Banjo, uh, Banjo will go, uh-oh! And then, you know, once he goes, uh-oh, you're kind of screwed because that's when he starts tumbling down and your fall damage is inevitable. And you can actually die instantly depending on how high you fall. It's not like Mario 64 where, like, where like there's a predetermined amount, you know, you can only take four damage max. 
if you fall from high enough, you can actually instantly die, so I'd recommend not testing that. Because gravity will win. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. Alright, so let's fly out here so we only have to make one treacherous swim. There we go, pick up that one. That's the second and final honeycomb piece of the world. No, you will not, Chomper. You will not. Because I'm heading out. Alright, so let's say goodbye to this world and goodbye to that sandcastle for now at least. Because we will actually be back here quite a few times. Uh, I won't I won't say why, I'll just allude to it. You know, just to play up the mystery. Alright, so before we do anything, you see there's a crab enemy out here now. Before we do any anything, I'd like to uh, jump up here and get some health. But also, if you remember, the Grunty Switch fired a Jiggy from that cannon over to this side. So let's hop up here. Got a little Grunty minion up here. Arr. Come on. There we go. And let's pick up the rest of these feathers, why not? Because I am both obsessive and compulsive. And let's get this Jiggy. Alright. See, that's Jiggy number three for uh, Grunty's Lair. This game doesn't, like, tally up... Well, I mean, it obviously tallies up the Jiggies, but this game doesn't, like... Whenever you pick them up, it shows how many you have in the world, not in total. If you want to sh show the totals, you can just pause the game and, uh, you know, view totals. Also, I find it weird. We have, uh, 20 Jiggies, but, uh... We've picked up 23 in total. That's because it the game shows, uh, you know, how many Jiggies you have on you. As opposed to how many you actually have. Because whenever you use Jiggies on these little uh, paintings, uh, they actually go away. So, like, from your collection for good. And if you want to actually view how many Jiggies you have in total, again, you gotta go to view totals. And you gotta go all the way to this, to, uh, well, I thought you did. Okay, no, you have to go to, you have to go to the left and view game totals. There we go. See, we actually have 23 Jiggies. So we're already, a, we're already over a fifth of the way done with this game. And, uh, we go over here, start filling up this painting. And, uh, you see bottles are gonna come up. If you want to place all your pieces in the picture, just press the right trigger. It's kind of a little little late for that, don't you think, bottles? But, uh, oops, wrong button. So let's go ahead and place all our jiggies here, and look at that. That'll open up the third world, Clanker's Cavern. All right. So I know you might be asking, where may we find this Clanker's Cavern? Well, if we if we actually go up here, as you can see, there's a little indention up here on this pipe. With another pipe for us to jump in up here. So if we go over... Come on. If we go over here... I was trying to roll, but I guess I wasn't moving fast enough to initiate it. If we go up here, as you can see, the entrance is right over there, but there's not much we can do to jump over there. But, if we jump down here... There's a little switch for us to press, and now raise these platforms. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump over here, and jump right here. And you see there's another switch right here, I'll raise that up. See, we can't, a we can't actually do anything with that for right now, because there's, you know... I mean, other than Brentilda, there's nothing up there for us to collect right now. But, uh... But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end off the video here, because I'm almost at 10 minutes. So, I'd like to say, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you all next time, and we will travel into the third world of the game, Clanker's Cavern. See ya!